Hello and welcome to this uh, video about the third learning objective Develop a uh, framework for making network design decisions As we discussed in chapter 1 There are three major uh, phases in uh, supply chain network uh, decisions there is the uh, supply chain network design sorry the su supply chain network strategy also known as the supply chain network design there is supply chain network planning and there is supply chain network operation the framework we're going to discuss here in learning objective number three is about phase number one supply chain strategy i'm sorry supply chain management strategy or supply chain network design um, so when you focus on this first phase then this phase breaks up into four separate phases the first one is define a clear supply chain um, strategy or design uh, the objective of this first phase of network design is to define a firm's broad supply chain design this includes determining the stages in the supply chain and whether each supply chain function will be performed in-house or outsourced this was also an um, an, uh, an objective in chapter number four phase one starts with a clear definition of the firm's competitive strategy as a set of customer needs that the supply chain aims to satisfy the supply chain strategy then specifies what capabilities the supply chain network must have to support the competitive strategy this was also um, uh, a topic in chapter number two uh, afterwards then the managers must forecast the likely evolution of global competition and whether competitors in each market will be local or global players the manager must also identify constraints on available capital and whether growth will be accomplished by acquiring existing facilities building new or partnering as, um, um, as this framework develops you see here that in the first phase uh, several uh, things come back into play here you got the competitive strategy as mentioned earlier the global competition also mentioned earlier and internal constraints like capital growth strategy and so forth and so on um, the second phase is define the regional facility configuration in the second phase the objective is to identify regions where facilities will be located their potential roles um, the potential roles could be um, uh, manufacturing it could be retail it could be distribution it could be storage as uh, mentioned earlier in uh, in the videos an analysis of phase two starts with a forecast of demand by country or region such a forecast must include a measure of the size of the demand and a determination of the homogeneity or variability of customer requirements across regions uh, recall um, variability variability uh, becomes larger as the implied uh, uncertainty uh, uh, raises and when the uncertainty raises the implied uncertainty raises in the supply chain the implied uncertainty was the uh, uh, was the way in which the supply chain was able to cope 
with differences in, um, in customer requirements. Um, uh, the next step for managers is to identify whether economies of scale can play a significant role in, in, re in reducing costs given available production technologies. If economies of scale or scope are significant, it may be better to have a few uh, serving many markets. Um, the, um, uh, the model we're using for um, network for uh, uh, phase two are network optimization models. Uh, network optimization models and then uh, specifically the capacitated plant location model. The capacitated plant location model, we're going to uh, have a look in it in, um, uh, in an other video. Um, for, um, um, uh, for phase number two, you need several um, uh, uh, you need several inputs. Those are uh, production technologies, competitive environment, aggregate factor of logistic cost. You need tariffs and tax incentives. Recall um, a video uh, one or two ago. The regional demand and political exchange rate and demand risk. Um, when you know all this and when you did the capacitated plant location model, then you end up in uh, phase number three. Uh, phase number three is uh, the desirable sites. Uh, the objective of phase three is to select a set of desirable potential sites within each region where facilities are to be located. Sites should be selected based on an analysis of, of infrastructure availability to support the desired production uh, technologies. Hard infrastructure requirements include the availability of supplier, transportation services, communication, utilities, warehousing and so forth and so on. You also got soft infrastructure requirements that include the availability of a skilled workforce, the turnover in this workforce, and the community receptivity to business and, and your industry. Um, with uh, phase number three, we have a different, uh, we use a different model. In phase number three, we use gravi gravity location models. So in phase number two, we use capacitated plant location model. In phase number three, we use gravity location models. When you did use the gravity uh, location models, then uh, you end up with phase number four. Phase number four are the location choices. The objective of phase number four is to select a precise location and capacity allocation for each facility. Attention is restricted to the desirable potential sites selected in phase number three. The network is designed to maximize, sorry, to maximize total profit, taking into account the expected margin and demand in each of the markets. Various logistics and facility costs and the taxes and tariffs of each location. The model we use in uh, phase number four is uh, our network optimization models. So phase number uh, four has network optimization models. Um, and after uh, phase number four, you know exactly where to place your um, your facility, whether it is uh, manufacturing, storage, uh, distribution, retail, uh, you know what markets it will serve, 
you know what um, um, uh, you know what uh, uh, capacity is allocated for them and you know how to configure this into a network this all works with the free um, uh, with the three models we're going to cross in further uh, videos thank you for watching if you have any questions please do not hesitate to drop me an email or to come by in one of our blackboard collaboration sessions